and welcome to another interesting episode of Social Distancing with Winfrey. My name is Winfrey Daniel Kolo, and as you can see, I'm back to my infamous white wall. And guess why? Because it is the season finale of Social Distancing with Winfrey. It's been one amazing 13 episode long season, and I want to say a huge thank you to you, yes you, for being a part of this and making this as amazing as it has actually been okay so it's about that time where i update you on everything that's happening around the world so make sure you sit back relax and don't touch this <laughs> My stories today okay so we definitely have been hearing about the whole deband and um shaitan case okay it's been from one thing to another since the whole um justice for uwar came up and um since the whole rape allegations have been going around a lot of celebrities were um, accused of raping people who came out of social media to actually call them out however this particular situation of the band happened to stick the longest okay so of course not too long ago some weeks ago she actually dropped a statement that is the victim in this case the alleged victim in this case dropped a statement that the band not only raped her in 2018 but also after she did post about the incident he sent policemen to literally arrest her and detain her a while after that okay fine she was then called into custody to give a statement and she did say that that did not happen so it's been a whole lot of back and forth and all of that then shega link who happened to be her lawyer in this situation he is a human rights activist and happens to represent her in this situation actually came out not too long ago to actually talk about how her family and herself said they do not want any situation speaking about the fact that she is not a liar and then she has gone through a whole i've been mean, gone through a whole lot of things and does not want any further issue and complication based on this. He did actually call out some feminine group for saying Shaitan said several things that were not true in order to push their own personal agenda and progress or drag traffic for their female group. Despite the fact that herself and her family members, according to Shega Link, says that they do not want any case and they do not want any um, um, case in court and all of that, the band has however gone out to sue her for 1.5 billion naira. Okay, so he says that this is based on the fact that they did cause him a whole lot of mental stress, a whole lot of matrimonial issues, amongst other things. We all know the situation came up and then a lot of people jumped on it and this particular one actually stuck and we also heard that it was possible or could have been possible that he actually lost some endorsements based on this case. And then he sues her for 1.5 billion naira and I'm like, okay. Like, where is she meant to get that money from? She did also request an order of injunction stopping herself and anybody um, associated or related to her from further posting considerations about this particular case. Man, I'm just now here and I'm just watching. I'm like, how is this going to end? Anyways, we're all here, so let us watch. On that note, please, let us make sure we verify stories before we actually come out um, to say them or to push them out there because a whole lot is on the line right so fine sugar link is not saying directly that she lied about the rape was however saying that the situation of her being arrested wasn't necessarily true from at least from what i got from the story so let's see how all of this is going to play out i'll definitely be here to update you okay moving to my next story of course i'll be updating you guys on the hush puppy situation okay so hush puppy has literally been handed over by the dubai police to the US FBI okay so apparently he landed Chicago on Thursday against this case which was actually um, on Friday and of course in the process of I mean handling the case more information has literally been dropping that he was literally the, uh, the head of a transnational a league of cyber criminals okay what that simply means is that they literally have cohorts and carcasses and arms and wings all over the globe all right and of course different issues have been coming out different cases have also been coming out 
Another case has come to light about how he almost, or he actually succeeded in duping um, a client of a New York based law firm for over $900 thousand dollars okay and that is just one of the many other cases that have come forth another case that literally blew my mind was one of a football premier league which was actually about 100 million pounds not dollars pounds you definitely need to check the figures those figures out okay and this was literally almost carried out but thanks to the fact that they intercepted before that was carried out however the fbi has confirmed that the lifestyle he lives is solely based off of cyber crimes it's actually coming to light also that he is beginning to call out people as he also has named a few core conspirators of this cyber crimes okay so and rumor has it that a lot of nigerians are involved and a little bird is telling me that some media people that we do well know and of course some political people also in the nigerian space. imam of peace literally posted a picture hush puppy on one side buhari on the other side and he literally said hush papa of hush puppy and i'm like is he trying to say something there? Okay, but I want to just understand the fact, okay, maybe he's probably doing that because, okay, maybe Dr. Prince from Nigeria and Buhari is, is the president. However, a whole lot is unraveling and this guy may literally just go to catch a 6 9 on all of them and just start to rat them out. I mean, at this point, what does he have to lose? He might as well just call out everybody and let the case... I mean, you know how US like to deal, they like to trade, so they might actually ensure that he gets a shorter term. I mean, it's crazy. I don't even know where all that story of him being handed over to US came from because obviously that is not the case he's still in the u.s and he's being tried round. so let's sit tight and wait for the names he's about to drop as i sip on my non-tea mm. over to coronavirus updates which is definitely going to be the last coronavirus updates for this particular season the u.s literally has four percent of the populations of the world in numbers however they have literally recorded about 25 percent of the overall coronavirus cases in the world right now the u.s is definitely leading in the highest numbers of corona um, confirmed cases with over 2.5 million it is almost getting to 3 million coronavirus cases in the u.s with over 125 deaths and this is so alarming because i mean once upon a time it was brazil we were all like scared for but now the u.s literally has times two of brazil confirmed cases and deaths and of course brazil is the second ranking in that link i mean it's crazy and it's totally also understandable considering the fact that even the president of the free world right donald d trump has however refused to wear a mask now rumor has it that his son trump jr's girlfriend literally has coronavirus however they're claiming that trump jr doesn't have it yet Will this now spur him, that is his dad, to start to wear a mask and take this in more seriously? They're also complaining that there's different reports, CNN and co, also complain about how he literally has public addresses and fails to literally mention the cases of coronavirus and their multiplication effect in the US. He actually does, however, thank um, the first responders and people working on the forefront, but doesn't even co um, comment about the fact that it's increasing and all of that. And people are thinking that he's trying to shy away from the fact that, see, he was wrong and now this thing is literally way worse than he said it was going to be. It's just absolutely crazy. However, in Nigeria, we're gradually approaching the 30,000 mark of confirmed coronaviruses in Nigeria from the NCDC report. Our death cases now are way over 600. I mean, when it started at 400 cases, we were locking down, we were doing everything we needed to do. And now that we have almost 30,000, we're barely even doing anything at all. Lagos State, Samuel Lu has literally put his foot down and said that religious houses are not necessarily opening anytime soon and he doesn't have a definite date for that i think that is definitely a step in the right direction okay
with everything make sure you do stay safe because we do not want you to have that virus so i did get a little bit emotional right there and of course i won't be surprised and you shouldn't be surprised also it's because it's been one long 13 episode long season of social distancing with winfrey and i'm so proud of myself and i am sure you are also proud of me but before i give my closing speech right it is time for me to tell you that my girl emanuela yabo mbgn echoers 2017 has been engaged to her boo and of course the wedding is going down very soon we'll definitely post um i should be details i mean all the beautiful gorgeous pre-wedding photographs are on the internet on bella niger wedding so make sure you check that out and do follow her on social media her account got hacked we were definitely get, trying to get it right back up so do follow her on social media at first lady ella and of course do wish her a huge congratulations and many blessings for her future home i mean for her home already right and of course that's coming from me and the whole team of social distancing with winfrey we wish you emanuela yabo a beautiful beautiful wedding a beautiful beautiful house and home and of course we pray for you that god gives you the grace to fill in the shoes to full capacity of this great responsibility you're about to embark on. we love you dearly i need to stay safe yes you stay safe do everything you can so you're not necessarily caught in a position you don't want to be wash your hands as regularly as possible use a hand sanitizer where you cannot wash your hands with soap and water running water also make sure you wear your face mask if you're going out and you have to do anything make sure you stay safe make sure you take everything you need to take to boost your immune system watch that video over here i have different videos on boosting your immune systems and i'll definitely be dropping more about that so make sure you just stay safe okay like see life is beautiful as much as right now everywhere is, is quite chaotic you still have so much more to achieve on this earth and you have so much on the inside of you so do not give up hope okay because we're here together and I'll love to see you at the top.